Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm uh, back here with another video today, and as you can see here, I've got something uh, really cool to show you all today. Uh, i got a couple of YouTube firsts here. First of all, this is a Siemens MXLV. Not just a regular MXL, this is a voice panel. Functional. Uh, second, as you can see by the display, it's a bit different from a regular MXL. Uh, this display, uh, usually an MXL system would have what's known as a MKB-2. I believe. It's just the regular MXL display, kind of like that one down there, or uh, that one over there, or that one. Regular MXL display. As you can see, I've got a couple of MXLs to show you all at some point. But uh, this is a different display. It's called an MKB-5. It's a little bit newer, um, and I don't think I've ever seen one shown off here on YouTube before, so uh, this will be really cool to see. Um, down here, this is the lower control board. Uh, you see, we've got our all call and our all evac and all of the functions on here. And then these other two modules don't do anything right now, but look pretty. And uh, as you probably saw down here, uh, this is in fact a mobile demonstration system. This MXLV was built to be a demonstration system back in its previous life. I won't say exactly how I got this panel, but uh, it's a pretty cool little system nonetheless. Uh, let's take a little look inside. Just to see, there's your uh, MMB, your MXL main board. Um, down here is all of your voice cards here in the second bay. We've got the uh, the control card right here, and then the amplifier, and then a few other cards down here. Um, on this side, you can see we have the display board and the uh, audio controller, and then the telephone and microphone assemblies, as well as the control boards for the uh, lower interface there. Um, so we'll close all this back up. And I'll show you what I got hooked up to it. Uh, you can see right here we have a Cerberus Pyrotronics speaker strobe. It's a rebranded Wheelock uh, WM speaker strobe. As you can see down there, it is branded by uh, Pyrotronics. Uh, we have a Cerberus Pyrotronics MSI 10B, and we have two FP11 smoke detectors. So, we're just going to get right into this. I'm going to demonstrate the all call function first. And uh, something kind of interesting, this strobe does flash when I hit all call because the uh, strobe is on a speaker card, which is pretty interesting. Um, this panel also does have the, uh, the telephone in place, but I don't have a phone hooked up to this right now. Uh, the phone card isn't currently working in this panel, but it will be in a future video. So... Uh, without any further talking, I'm going to demonstrate the all call. So you hit all call, and those green lights start flashing. And I can key the mic. It's going to give really bad feedback, but you'll hear it. May I have your attention, please? This is a test of the fire alarm system. I repeat, this is only a test. Then you put the mic back, like so. Maybe. There we go. Then you hit all call again, and then it shuts off. So, without further ado, um, you'll see that this uh, display board also acts a little bit differently from a uh, regular MXL. But you'll see that when we pull this. Here we go. There it is. As you can see, no audible silence or anything like that. Um, it just plays the slow whoop tone on loop. Um, no messages or anything. Um, I actually do have 
a card right down here, which I'll grab. Uh, this is a DMC-1 uh, voice card, but uh, I believe this card is defective. Um, it doesn't work right now. Um, but that card is where your messages would be stored. And uh, another kind of weird quirk with this panel is that uh, I get a signal loss trouble uh, any time that I set the uh, audibles off, or at least the first time I set it off. But um, let's grab a little bit of smoke here. And uh, let's spray one of these detectors. Oops. I'm trying to see if we can see the LED here. There we go. grab that other detector that fell back there. I think it was the one that went off. Let's see. Yep. As you can see, it's blinking red there. So uh, that's the detector that tripped. Kind of interesting considering I sprayed the other one. But, uh, you know, it does stuff like that sometimes. Um, show off the uh, all evac as well. So what you do is you... Uh, Push all evac and it just starts going. Normally you could press all evac again and it would uh, shut off, but since uh, we already had alarms in the panel, I had to hit audible silence again. Now, I'm not going to try to reset that pull station with one hand just because it's... Uh, not mounted to anything, and uh, it's kind of a pain to do with one hand either way. So, uh, jump cut, and I'll be right back to you guys. Alright, pull station is reset. Um, hopefully the detectors have had enough time to air out. So, we're just going to go ahead and uh, put a reset into this panel. And then it goes back to normal for a second, and then troubles will start rolling in. But, uh, yeah, just want to show you guys this little system. It's a uh, really, really awesome little panel to have. Well, I mean, it's not little, but uh, I got some big plans for, uh, for this system. I plan to build a little board for it. And uh, hopefully, since, uh, as you saw, this is a demonstration system and designed to be one, um, I'm hoping I can someday clear all these troubles and have a completely normal MXLV panel. But with that said, uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Let me acknowledge some troubles. Uh, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And to check out the links in the description. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.